I'm now going to demonstrate how I play Yelper. This Yelper is made by Deadly Attraction Game Calls. I'm going to start out by demonstrating the playing Yelp of a hen. I'm now going to demonstrate how to do the cluck. And now I'll demonstrate the kiki run. The most important thing when you're starting out to play a yelper is just to get a sound. So the easiest sound for me was to, to get was the uh, cluck just by popping your lips and bringing the air back through the call sharp. And once you learn how to do the clucks, you can hold them out longer and you can get the rollover on your yelps. Once you learn all those sounds and progress and get to know your yelper and play it good, you can do the exciting yelp of a hen. It's Once you learn how to play those sounds, this can be a very useful tool in your turkey vest because not many calls that you get from the stores can make those sounds as realistic as the yelper does. Another key element in playing the yelper is hand placement at the bell of the call. You don't want to seal it off tight where no air can come through. So what you do is you stick it and make an L with your thumb and uh, index finger and put the call in the bend and just close around it and make a cup and put this hand next to this one and leave it open at the end. And if you like a deeper tone, you can close it a little more. And by doing that, it changes the whole call. Another good thing about a yelper is after the third or fourth week of turkey season, everybody's threw their diaphragms, friction calls, box calls, everything they can get in the store at them and got them used to the sounds. If you pull out a yelper or a wing bone, you get that different pitch and different sound than most of your other calls. You can purchase one of these Yelpers at www.deadlyattractiongamecalls.com.